So now in the beginning of my second ride with Waymo here in San Francisco, you can see I am in a car driving around the city streets and nobody is driving. It's a fully self-driving car. This is my second ride. So, you know, I'm an old pro at this at this point. And um, it's actually a very convenient way to get around the city. I thought it would just be kind of the novelty of being driven around by a robot. Um, but, you know, it's nice. You press the button in the app, the car shows up. I am taking about a 20 minute ride right now across the city from BART. It makes it pretty easy to use public transit and get into the city and then to ride this thing around. And it costs pretty much the same as an Uber. It's just a super awesome technology with some cool mood music going on in the background here, driving me around, figuring out where to go next. And it's really spooky to sit and watch the steering wheel just do its thing. I don't particularly feel any unsafe, you know, feelings driving around in this. I know some people feel differently. They'd be freaked out getting driven around by a robot. But honestly, compared to human drivers, I feel like we're doing just fine here. It's very cautious, but it can be assertive when it wants to. That's the kind of interesting thing. It's gonna, it's gonna pull into traffic here. Let's see, it's gonna cut that guy off a little bit. And uh, whoop, here comes a car out in front, but it stopped. We didn't collide with that nice Tesla over there. We've got our compatriot driving next to us. So, um, you know, assertive, but uh, certainly cautious when it comes to pedestrians is one thing I've seen. It's a little bit more assertive with other cars. Uh, knows how to drive. That's the, the spooky thing about it. And now we're, we're actually following another Waymo vehicle. It's gonna make it right on red here, as you can. Um, so let's take a look at the dashboard in front of me. So there we are, there's the dashboard. It's a Jaguar, so it's a pretty fancy self-driving car. It has a little caution thing telling me, do not touch that steering wheel, <laughs> don't mess. Keep your hands off, it says, of the wheel. So don't mess with it, let it do its thing. There goes more of them, pretty much every car on the road here in San Francisco feels like it's self-driving these days. And here we go, turning into traffic, not getting hit by that truck driving past the Salesforce tower here and picking up a little bit of speed. It's a little, uh, to put your trust in the robot a bit more when you get up to like 20, 30 miles an hour instead of the creeping along on city streets. But you know, if that guy stepped out into the road, it would presumably have hit the brakes and we'd be all good. So we are cruising across town. And I mean, this is interestingly feels kind of old hat at this point after doing it twice. So I can see how this just becomes a normal part of life.